day two of my second week on this new training split and today is back. I'm really liking focusing a lot more on compound movements and just a little bit of a simpler program focused on the basics and heavy lifting but at the same time it is beating up my body so I'm really having to focus on recovery so I'm really glad this program has two rest days um, built in per week so I really have to force myself to take those rest days even though I know I should I just love training and it's so rest days are really the hardest thing for me to make myself do um, it's um, it's just something I enjoy doing so much that it's um, really hard really harder for me to take a day off even when my body needs it when I'm kind of beat up I still just really look forward to going to the gym but um, rest days are just as important and what I like to do is I will get some amount of high intensity interval training or just do something just to just to stay active so rest days don't mean that you you absolutely just can't do anything it just means that you need to let your body recover so you shouldn't be beating it up with a heavy uh, weight workout so allowing the muscle groups you're breaking down to recover so staying active is is helpful for recovery as well like getting some amount of cardio or it's a good day to uh, work on some flexibility, uh, some mobility, those type of things as long as you're not pushing it to the point where you are slowing down your recovery then really anything, any kind of enjoyable activity would be a good thing to implement on a rest day. Exercise number one is going to be our lat pull downs and this is going to be a priming movement. So we're just doing two sets of 20 just to get the lats primed and the blood flowing to ready the muscles for the heavier lift. So not going heavy here at all, just focusing on getting blood flow and muscle activation. The first heavy compound lift is going to be a bent over row. So focusing on control here, good posture, keeping the back nice and flat. Hands just a little wider than shoulder width apart and just really controlling the weight and getting a good squeeze at the top. For this workout, we're shooting for four sets of 15 reps. Next up we have the rack pull, which is basically a variation of a deadlift, but off the rack, so it shortens the range of motion and effectively just overloads the back, so it takes the legs out of the movement for the most part. So a couple keys to this movement is always keeping those shoulders back, staying nice and tall, making sure you get a good squeeze at the top, and trying to keep muscle tension throughout. So you want to lower it down slowly and controlled and not just let the weight drop. Keep in a tight core, even if you're wearing a belt, focus on that core stability. Try not to blow all the air into your stomach. You don't want it to distend your waist. You'll see a lot of power lifters or bodybuilders have that distended waist, so you don't want that. So you always want to keep your core in mind. Single arm rows were next and it's supposed to be a dumbbell single arm row, but unfortunately I got to the gym late, so it was pretty packed and I was not able to get on a dumbbell rack. So instead of slowing down the workout, I decided to use a cable variation for this day and just focus on the squeeze. Now I would prefer the dumbbell in most cases, but there are some advantages to the cables. You're able to keep constant tension on the muscle. You don't go quite as heavy, but you're able to get a good squeeze in each rep.
To finish off the lats, we're just using a V-bar straight arm pull down. So again, focusing on getting a good stretch and then getting those shoulders back and squeezing the lats as you come down. Finally, we're finishing off the workout with a little bit of bicep work. And I'm doing some reverse curls here, which is primarily going to focus on the forearm and brachialis versus the bicep. But they are important to include in your program, especially if you are experiencing elbow pain. So working the forearms, uh, the wrist extensors in specific can really help deter some of that elbow tendonitis. So I'm just doing two sets of 20 here staying nice and high reps and light on the weight. And then my uh, just straight bar bicep curl here, I'm doing uh, four sets of 15 to finish off the workout just to get a solid pump in the biceps. And just focusing on squeezing at the top, making sure I'm getting a full contraction and getting a good stretch at the bottom, trying to make sure my, I keep my shoulders immobile, I keep my shoulders from moving and I'm not swinging the weight a lot. Okay, that was a badass workout. I'm gonna do a little bit of posing now, just a real quick posing session. I'm pretty fat right now, so it's off season and I'm bulking, but uh, I've got a good pump, so I'm gonna get just a little bit of posing, about 10 minutes and uh, call it a day. Everybody knows that I'm breaking down. Everybody knows I ain't faking now. Everybody knows my heart's faking now. Yeah, she hates me now. I made mistakes, but now I don't ever want to be alone. I don't really ever feel at home. On my own, in the zone. That's the only way I know. Feeling low, about to blow back up. Here I won't I go. ever let the doubt creep in. Gotta pop a couple more aspirin. I don't think I'll ever let you win. Easier to break it off, best friends. I don't really understand myself. I don't really understand, need help. I don't want to be left on the shelf. Couldn't even hear me if I yelled. It's so cold outside I'm alone, I'm alright It's so cold outside I'm alone, I'm alright So key takeaway from today's training session is regardless of what program you're following, how great it is, or how long you've been doing it, when you're working out at a busy gym, uh, especially a commercial gym, you may have to adapt the workout. So my philosophy, and I think you'll find this to be very true, is you're gonna get a lot more out of your workout, either switching the order of the exercises so you can keep moving with little rest if you're waiting on a piece of equipment or a machine to complete something. Instead of waiting, sub that exercise out for something similar, something that works the same muscle group and uh, utilizes the same movement pattern. Like for instance, today, instead of a single arm dumbbell row, I did a single arm cable row. Now, the dumbbell row would have been preferable because I'm utilizing free weights, so I'm able to do a little bit heavier poundages, but the cable row has its advantages as well, such as time under tension for the lats. So. Um, be a little bit more flexible and understand how to adjust on the fly. So if you're able to get those two concepts down, I think you're going to take your training a lot further than being super rigid and trying to follow a program that's just not going to be always doable for you to do something verbatim. Let's say, you know, you have a specific order of exercises, you have five exercises you're supposed to do in a specific order. You know, that's ideal, but sometimes you're going to have to adapt and also it will help your muscle confusion as well. So you're still following the program, you're doing the reps, the weights, and you are just adapting as needed so you can keep your pump, so you can keep that tension on the muscles, so you're not resting too much, you're not spending three hours in the gym where you don't need to be, and you're actually getting the most out of your workout. So, hey, hope you guys enjoyed the workout again, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, like the video, if you could please. Uh, the uh, YouTube gods seem to prefer a video that has a lot of likes and comments and all that good stuff so they give that preferential treatment so anybody else that needs to see this video it may just pop up in their feed uh, with a little bit more engagement so if you guys want to see this channel continue to grow and 
think that I'm doing a good job, give it a thumbs up. Hey, if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. You know, I could use the feedback. I'm open for feedback, whether it's good or bad. So, hey, um, I, uh, I won't get my feelings hurt. Hey, but that's it for today. I'll catch you guys in the next video.